guys, how are you doing? I hope you've had a good day and a good week. Thank you so much for joining me today. So our class today is going to be focused on the neck area. So I'm on Instagram and I'm also on Facebook. So I'll sort of be going between the two and later on I'm going to be answering your questions. So please do put up any questions you want me to answer. I'm gonna try and get through as many as I can of those. So for our neck techniques, we're going to start off just by working the back of the neck and the shoulders, so releasing a bit of tension. This is so important for our overall being, for reducing pain, but also from an aesthetic point of view, when we release tension in this area, we release tension in this area. Then we're going to be working our neck area, so the front part of our neck, and we're going to be lifting and toning that area. I'm going to show you a little bit of massage, a little bit of lymphatic drainage as well. So it's just a couple of minutes before six, so I'm going to start off just leading you through a little bit of breathing and then we'll get going with our neck techniques. Please do have clean hands when you do face yoga. And if you want to now apply a little bit of oil or moisturizing serum, that's great as well. But don't worry if you can't, as long as you've got nice clean hands, you're sat up nice and straight, nice and relaxed, and you can really just enjoy it. That's the main part of face yoga, just really enjoying it. So let's start off focusing on our breath. So just placing a hand onto your tummy and a hand onto your chest. And just take a nice deep breath in through the nose and just allow the abdomen to gently rise. And then just gently allow the abdomen to lower. So inhale, abdomen rises. Exhale, abdomen lowers. So close your eyes if you can here. Just give yourself that moment to come in to the present moment, to really relax and just tune in to the most important thing that we can do for our health and our well-being, and that's breathe deeply and properly. So we're breathing deeply in through the nose and out through the nose. And you can just do a little mental scan of your face as well. Notice how is it feeling in this moment if there's any areas that you want to relax or release, just do this now. It's a nice, long, deep breath. So you can bring your hands down into your lap and we'll just start off releasing tension in our neck and shoulders before we work with our toning techniques for the front of the neck. So let's just do some simple shoulder rolls to start off with, nice and gently working all the way around here. Really think about letting go of any stress that you might be holding on to there. So remember, if you have any shoulder issues, if you have any neck problems, please work to your own level with all of these techniques. You never want to overstrain or overstretch if you do have any injuries. And then we're going to go in the other direction, nice and gently rolling round, Really try and join in with this if you can. It makes such a difference. Even just a couple of minutes of these movements, it's amazing how it suddenly just starts to get everything moving, boost the circulation, remove some of that muscle tension and really helps our well-being too. And just keep up that breathing in and out through the nose. So bring your shoulders to a nice neutral position. So not too far back, and not too far forward, just a nice neutral position and lengthen the spine. Also imagine there's a string pulling you right up so you're lengthening everything upwards. And then just bring your chin down towards your chest. Again, only do this if, do this if it's comfortable for you. So just bring the chin from side to side, nice and gently use your breath, release, any tight tension that might have built up maybe over the day, over the week, maybe longer. And then we're going to bring it to full circles. So only do these full circles if it's comfortable for your neck. Remember, we really don't want to overstrain at all here. And then let's do the other way, nice and gentle movement all the way round. 
Just let go of some of that tightness and then just slowly come back up. And then take the fingers, so almost into this position, and just bring them to the back of the neck. So either side of the spine, bring the fingers in. And just use those fingers to massage a little bit. And this is fantastic if you are suffering from strain or tension in the neck area. And be quite intuitive with it. Maybe you want to move a little bit further up. Maybe you want to go a little bit further down. Really just work into those muscles. Then hold that position with the fingers there into the muscles either side of the spine and then just gently tilt your head back and hold there for two deep breaths, only if that's comfortable for your neck. Deep breath in and deep breath out. One more. And as you exhale, bring yourself to centre. Good. So if you've just joined on Instagram or on Facebook, welcome. Please have nice clean hands for the next few techniques. We're going to be working with toning up the neck area, some massage and some exercise. So let's start off with a little bit of massage. We're just gonna wake the skin up. So we're just going to take the fingers and we're just going to come up the front of the neck a nice lifting technique now if you've got a little bit of oil or serum on use that if you've got a little bit of fusion by daniel collins serum perfect that's really lovely to use with face yoga and just keep that going gently massaging that upward action and then use all the fingers still with the head tilted back but only as far as it's comfortable for you just work up and down gentle tapping there and again if you just join please feel free to write any questions down i'm going to go through the questions for about 10 or 15 minutes at the end of this class so we're going to be doing about 10 minutes now of neck toning and then i'm going to go through your questions so feel free to write those down i'll get through as many as i can so whilst we're on the massage, let's do a little bit of lymphatic drainage. So we work upwards with our lifting techniques and we're working downwards with lymphatic drainage. So we come to the side of the neck, so we're coming into this area, very light touch, gently coming down. So it's simple, it's gentle, but it's really effective, helping that lymphatic system. Remember the lymphatic system needs a helping hand. It doesn't have a pump like the circulatory system does, like it has the heart. So you just really need to give it a helping hand. And the best ways to help the lymphatic system are massage, breathing, movement. All of these things help to get rid of that waste, and when we've got that build up of those toxins and waste in our face, we find that it might cause dull skin tone, puffiness in the face, dark circles under the eyes, puffiness under the eyes. So even though you're draining here, you're still going to be having good effects on that area underneath the eye. So let's just do a few more of those. Keep that breath going. So if you joined in right at the beginning, we did that nice deep breathing in and out through the nose. Keep that going as often as you can and bring the hands gently down. So let's do a nice firming massage now for this area under the chin. So you're going to take the tops of the hands here and here and we're going to gently tap. So really focus on any areas that feel to you that you want to work on. This area is always a really helpful area to work on. And then you can just move up a little bit and back down, gently just working, just making sure everyone on Facebook can see as well, because I'm on Instagram and Facebook today, doing a double whammy. So we're doing that lovely tightening here and just bring the hands gently down. So let's work the muscle a little bit more now. So our first technique, we're just going to bring our fingers onto our collarbone. So this acts as a little bit of support and a little bit of resistance. We then tilt the neck back and remember yet again, just go as far as is comfortable for you. Slightly go to stick the bottom lip out, so not too far, just a little bit. And hold there. So as you hold, you should feel this big muscle at the front of the neck. It's called the platysma muscle. You should really feel it engaging, 
it's toning up and as it tones up the muscle builds in strength and tone and then the skin attached to it is tightened and tautened and firm so bottom lip out one more breath and then slowly come down so we're going to take that a step further now and we're going to work with the tip of the tongue we're going to bring it repeatedly up and down towards the roof of the mouth we're going to have the lips closed and we're going to have head tilted back again remember you don't need to over strain if, if you do have any neck problems just go about a quarter of the way that's still absolutely fine you'll still be having benefits so remember tongue is going up and down up and down so like this So that tongue is going up and down towards the roof of the mouth, lips closed. And you can do this one for up to a minute. So keep that going whilst I'm talking. It's always difficult with those ones that require the mouth to talk at the same time as demonstrate. So hopefully you can just keep going with that head to the back, gently working up and down and we're working on toning this top part of the neck just under the jaw so it's a really good one if you find the skin around this area it's starting to get a little bit looser we're working again with toning the muscle building the strength and tone bulking up the muscle and therefore the skin attached to it's going to be lifted and tightened and tautened so if you're still doing that technique bring it gently down now and we're going to do the same thing but with turning it to the side so we turn to the side here we gently lift the chin up slightly so the chin slightly coming up towards the ceiling lips together and then tip of the tongue is going to come up and down towards the roof of the mouth so you feel it working under there again if you can manage 15 of those do 15 if you can do up to 30 do so just work with what suits you I don't know if you can see it on camera there, it's always a tricky one to demonstrate on video this because it's such a slight movement, but you know you're doing it right if you just place the hand there under the chin and then you'll feel it working. And then we do the same the other side. So we turn, we tilt, chin comes up slightly, lips together and tip of the tongue comes up and down towards the roof of the mouth. So keep that going, 15 if you can, 30 even better. You should feel that working all the way down the side of the neck, toning that muscle, but also toning underneath the jaw. And gently come back to center. So remember for best results, you need to be doing these techniques daily. Doing them once will start to fire up the muscle, it boosts the circulation temporarily, but to really get those long-term benefits in terms of detoxification, so helping the lymphatic drainage, in terms of circulation, so really helping that circulatory system long-term, in terms of boosting the collagen and elastin, in terms of relaxing tension, and in terms of toning and building muscle, you need to be doing it daily. It's up to you how often you do it, even if you do two minutes a day, that's better than nothing. If you can do 30 minutes or 40 minutes, fantastic. I would say anything more than 50 minutes, 5-0 is probably a bit too much. You don't really need to do more than that. Of course, if you're going to a face yoga class and it's an hour and a half or something like that, you'll be doing loads of wellness techniques in there. You're not just consistently exercising the face that whole time. Okay, so let's do another one now, really working with toning the neck, but we're working a bit more down the side here. So you turn the head to one side, chin slowly comes up, and then you'll stick your tongue out, and you'll slightly bring your tongue towards your nose, and you'll hold that position, if you can, for 15 seconds. quite a strong technique so you will feel the muscles working quite quickly and holding there really allow that tongue to come upwards towards the nose and then we're going to go to the other side tilt back slightly tongue comes up and out holding that position
and then slowly come back to centre. And if you're thinking, how do I remember all these? A really good reference guide is to use my book. You can get it on Amazon. It's a really good cheap price on Amazon at the moment. And you've got all of these techniques, one minute per technique, plus loads of skincare advice, wellness advice. And it's a great little reference guide that you can have by the side of your bed, by the side of your desk. And you can just do these techniques when you can. And you just remind you that you need to be doing them and how to do them. So that's great if you're thinking, I love this, but I don't really know where to start. Start with that, it's called Danielle Collins Face Yoga. So let's do a little bit more for our neck area. Hopefully you're starting to feel that whole lower, whole of the lower face working now. So we're going to do one where we gently tilt the neck back again, but again, it doesn't need to be overextended, just as far as it's comfortable for you. And we're going to go like this with the lips. So slightly wrapping it, um, wrapping them in towards the teeth and you're going, but we're doing this backwards. So again, neck problems, just stay a little bit further down. And don't worry if you laugh doing these, by the way. I'm so used to doing them now. I forget that other people find them funny, but yeah, don't worry if you laugh with them. It's worth looking silly for beauty and to feel good, I always think. So keep that going if you can. So you can do another 10 of those. So. It, just a few more really feeling it work all the way through the neck and then gently come down and then again do that lovely lifting technique so if you're using some of your massage oil or moisturizing serum here it works beautifully just gliding up and if you just join make sure you've got nice clean hands when you do this and try and go back to the breathing too and then just slowly bring the hands back down okay so let's just do one more for the neck and then i'm going to be taking some of your questions so feel free to write questions it can be about other parts of the face doesn't necessarily have to be about the neck area so we're going to do a little bit of massage here two fingers and thumb and we're going to pinch down to the muscle so rather than sort of pulling the skin out we're going to go down into the muscle so working up the neck going down into the muscle this is a tricky one if you've got long nails so you may need to just go back to doing a bit of the tapping if you've got very long nails you've got short nails then work down into the muscle really stimulating the muscle stimulating the collagen elastin try and get through all those three layers of skin Lovely, and then we can finish with that little bit of tapping and just bring the hands down. Wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna take a few of the questions from Instagram and then I'll move across to you guys on Facebook in a minute. So, wow, we got loads of questions. Hello, everyone. Let me see. Um, someone says, just what I needed today. Thank you, that's lovely. So pleased loads of people saying hello lots of different countries i love seeing everybody from all the different countries any yoga for reducing open pores on cheeks <laughs> open pores they are annoying i get it i've i've got open pores i've always had open pores it is just the skin type unfortunately when a pore is stretched it pretty much stays like that there are a few sort of high tech techniques you can do. You can go to certain facialists and they can do techniques to slightly reduce the appearance of pores. But the key there is appearance. Now, for me, I find that even though once that little crater in the skin has been made, which is usually because of um, hormones or stress or acne. I mean, I found that, that my pores got quite big as a teenager because I had really bad acne. Once that little crater is made, what happens is it tends to stay like that. The skin is already stretched and you can't move it back. And as you age, you tend to lose the natural collagen elastin production and those pores often become more apparent. They often become bigger. Now, the things that I found really helpful for reducing the appearance of pores is healthy diet, making sure you're eating lots of things like protein, fruit and vegetables, lots of water, all the things that we hear that are good for us with everything. But these things make a massive, massive difference. Also, I found that um, 
a really good collagen supplement I use is by Rejuvenated and it's fantastic. I take that every evening. Um, if anyone, by the way, wants a discount code for that, I've got a discount code, um, which is D DC, D for Danielle, C for Collins. Um, and you can DM me, I can send you the, the link for that. But that's a really good collagen supplement. I find that that helps. In terms of face yoga, um, I find that the massage is fantastic and the acupressure, all of that helps to boost the circulation. It helps to calm the mind, which obviously helps to balance out hormones and all of it's so related. So that's what I find is helpful for open pores, but unfortunately there's not a magic wand for open pores. Once they're big, they are big and they tend to get bigger. So it's just doing what we can to reduce the appearance of those. Um, let's have a look. Um, how long should we do lymphatic drainage in a week? It depends what lymphatic drainage you're doing. I mean, if you're doing, um, for example, a very gentle one around the eye area. I would say you could do that once or twice a day for one minute. If you're doing these techniques, um, you might have seen one of my YouTube videos where I'm working here, here, back of the neck to help really drain the lymph. Um, you can do with these very gentle ones, you could do 50 or even 100 of these very, very gentle ones. And this one you've got, I've got this sort of position, I'm going down here. But it's best you look at my YouTube video on how to do lymphatic drainage um, to learn that. But you could do that once a day, It'd take you probably five minutes maximum, and that would probably be enough for the lymphatic drainage. Um, set exercise for the jowl area. So this area, toning up this area, this one's great. Here, here. And you really want to feel your lip corners lifting up as you do it. Fingers are there to smooth any lines here and you're working backwards to tone that area. And you can come back down. That's a great one for jowls. Um, Broken face capillaries, again, it's like pores, unfortunately. There's no magic wand to reduce those. I mean, obviously there's there's surgical procedures you can do to, to remove them. Um, I mean, I was born with, with broken face capillaries. Um, and on my body as well and both my daughters have them as well nothing nothing bad nothing really sort of significant but um yeah they're they're just there unfortunately but again healthy diet increasing the collagen so by doing the massage the collagen supplements great all of these things can really really help um hello everyone any exercises for crow's feet? Yes, crow's feet area. Um, you want to work with toning this muscle, orbicularis oculi muscle that works around the eyes. So eye movements are great. Hands here, widening the eyes, strengthening, and then looking up and down is a great one to do. The V exercise. So this one, you may know this one from my app, or if you've done my teacher training, there's the mini V, which is this one, which you may know from my book. And with these, you do a half sort of squint, Feel a little shake where the index finger is and release and you squint and release and you just keep that going for about six rounds and you close the eyes on number seven. Feel that shake or pulse, hold there. That was a great one for crow's feet. Um, someone said, what's the benefits of these exercises? Um, someone says, I think I'm the only man here. I'm sure there's other men. Do not worry. Lots of men do face yoga. Um, all the benefits of the ones I've just been doing at the beginning of the class are neck toning. So toning the muscle and boosting the skin tone in the neck. Um, hi, hi from Turkey. Is it dangerous to do facial exercise for more than 15 minutes? Um, depends what you're doing. If you're doing my program, you'll very much have a combination of gentle face exercise, massage, acupressure, relaxation. So 15 minutes is great. I mean, 30 minutes is great. If you're doing very strong exercises over and over again for 15 minutes, then it's too much probably. So it really depends what you're doing. So make sure you're going to the right teacher, a qualified teacher, and you're doing the right program. Um, I promise I'll come across to um, you guys on Facebook in a moment. Uh, someone says, you're so happy. Thank you. Um, can you leave this up for 24 hours so I can do it yet later? Yes, on Instagram, it'll be up on my stories for 24 hours. And then for everybody, Facebook or Instagram, this goes up on my YouTube. So if you look at my YouTube channel, which is The Face Yoga Expert, I always make sure all my lives go on there. So I think there's about four lives on there over the, that I've done over the last four weeks so far. This one will be posted up either next week or, or the week after. So we make sure every Wednesday, 
I post up um, a new live. Well, I say I do. My lovely um, editor, Rob, does it. Um, any exercise for deep frown line? You mean this area here? So you want to learn to retrain that area. So massaging and relaxing this area really, really helps. Do this as often as you can, obviously clean hands. The more you can relax it, the more the lines will soften and the less likely you will be to pull that area in. Remember you're preventing, even though the lines are deep, try and prevent them becoming deeper. You can also use two fingers and just gently push the skin apart just slightly there. That's really nice to do. And you can hold that position, take a lovely long deep breath and that's great for that area. Um, I will save the live, don't worry. Um, can you do a session for under eye hollows? Yes, I can definitely do that. I'll show you one of my favorite ones quickly now. Um, flirty eyes technique, it's called. You go, make that O shape, flutter your upper eyes. And you do that for 30 seconds. So that's great for hollows under the eyes. Um, lip area, so massage for the lips. This one is great. You can do that for up to one minute. Can I do these lives every day? I would love to do lives every day. I have two little girls. I have a three-year-old and a seven-year-old. They've been at home full time for 10 weeks because all the schools are closed. Um, I run everything with a face yoga business and my husband is a firefighter. So he's a key worker and he is off and about doing that as well as running this lovely face yoga expert business with me. Um, and I'm really lucky to have a really nice team that works with me too. And they all work remotely from their homes, but yes, that really helps. So in answer, can I do a live every day? I'd love to, but I don't think I could fit it in. So I will try and do a few more though. I do them once a week at the moment, but if you're liking them, let me know because I will do a few more, but I don't think I could do every day. Hi from France, from Portugal. Hi, hi from Lebanon. Hi. Um, yeah, someone said about open pores, you can use glycolic acid. Um, yes, but just, just check for different skin type. Um, yeah, so um, let me see. Hi from Serbia. Um, hi from South Africa. Lovely. What else can we do for dark circles? So you really be want wanting to be focusing on the circulation for dark circles so very gently for this finger or this finger working around the eye area that's super good for dark circles the tapping around the eyes fantastic try and do this morning and evening and sweeping under the eyes making sure you're not dragging the skin that's also great um from india hello um, any re recommendation um, for reducing dark circles? Loads of questions on dark circles at the moment. Um, yes, do your lymphatic drainage massage every day. Get into the habit of doing it. It takes a bit of time to start to reduce those dark circles, but it can be done. I've seen it with lots of clients lots of the time. How to get rid of laugh lines. Um, quite a few questions here about laugh lines, actually. Um, so these are this area here. Um, there's actually a really good video that I just put up. So I put it up last Saturday on my YouTube channel. And um, it's actually on my, um, it's on my Facebook and my Instagram as well. I posted it up as a video there. And it's a massage for this area. Loads of lovely massage techniques. So mm, lots like that. So um, yeah, it's a whole little routine. So if you're on Instagram, check out my video I did yesterday um, and same on, on Facebook I put it up yesterday and it's called um, massage for nasal labial folds do that one for smile lines um, um, I sleep lines I've slept on my back um, I have silky pillowcases yes so Sleep lines, really ideally need to be sleeping on your back. I can't do that. So I use a pillow called Sleep and Glow Pillow. Let me grab, oh, stretching across my bed to get it here. I use this pillow. So it's a silk pillowcase, and then it's got these little um, areas where you can put your face, and you can also lie on your back if you can. But if you're a size sleeper like me, it just cradles the face. Um, I love this, Sleep and Glow. And if anybody does, want to look into getting a sleep and glow pillow send me a message because i can get you a code for 10 percent off the code is face yoga 10 i can send you the link and everything i love that for um for i'm going to do a video actually soon on um how to help sleep wrinkles on my youtube channel so look out for that 
Um, someone else says, um, oh gosh, there's so many questions. Um, can you pin your YouTube channel? My YouTube channel is The Face Yoga Experts. So you could just be able to find it. I will save this live, lines on forehead. So massage techniques for the forehead are beautiful. This is great as well. Um, retraining the forehead, so trying to widen the eyes whilst keeping the forehead still, looking up and down, side to side, all of that's great. You really want to try and retrain the forehead to stay as still as possible. Um, is it safe to do face yoga after Botox and fillers? That's a great question. So if you have had Botox or fillers, First of all, you need to wait a minimum of two weeks before you go and do any face massage, face exercise. Then I would say just check with your practitioner because it depends how much Botox you've had and how much fillers you've had and where you've had it. So it's really important to gain medical advice before you do start face yoga. But hopefully you'll love face yoga so much that you won't even want to go back and have Botox and fillers. Um, hi from Serbia, from Belgium, from America. Hello from Brazil, Tunisia, Turkey. Oh, I love hearing when you're from, from Spain, from Austria, India. Um, will you put up the, um, the silk pillowcase code? Yeah, it's just, face yoga 10 so just face yoga 10 use that super easy um someone come from kuwait so good to see you oh my gosh i've got so many questions i want to answer them all i always get like this every live i just, I just think i should do a live with questions actually should i just do that one day um, and then i can just spend my time answering questions um anybody that wants to um any that wants the code for the pillow, send me a message and I will make sure that I send you that code. Hi from Los Angeles. Hi, right, I'm gonna take a couple of questions from Facebook here. Um, someone's saying, can you do tummy exercises? That is a good tummy workout I've got on my YouTube channel, actually. Um, yes, Lucy's asking, um, could you DM me the collagen you mentioned? Would you please um, message me and then I'll remember and then I'll know sort of how to message. So um, know who to message. So if you could do that. Um, is a brand called Rejuvenated and the code to get the discount is um, DC. But send me a message. Anyone that wants information on the pillow or the collagen, message me and I will send it to you. It's the easiest way. Can you do massage techniques whilst doing exercises? Yes, of course, you can do exercise and massage together. Um, can you be close to the camera? Hopefully this is a bit closer. Um, creases on my upper lips. So what we can do about that. So I would say you want to be doing massage. So little massage like this is beautiful to do. A little massage there. Hi from Turkey, hi from Greece. Um, and that's a lovely little massage there. So I think, I don't think I've got through all the questions. I was gonna say, I think I've got through all the questions, but I don't think I have. Hi from Romania, hi from Pakistan. Oh, I love, love hearing where you're from. Um, if you've got any more questions, drop me a DM. If you want more information about the sleep and glow pillow, drop me a DM and I will give you the link and the code to get a discount. If you want more information about the collagen supplement, again, send me a DM and I will make sure I send you the, um, the code and the discount. If I don't get back to you straight away, I'll try and always do it within 24 hours. So hopefully you've enjoyed this class, neck toning class. Let me know what you want to hear um, about in the next class. Maybe, like I said, I will just do one where I answer all your questions. That would be lovely to do. Maybe you want me to work on a particular area of the face. So over the last few lives, we've done um, forehead area, we've done eye area, we've done neck area. So maybe you would like a jaw toning or a cheek toning one. Just let me know. I love hearing where you're from. Oh, I love hearing. Ukraine, Egypt, Slovakia, hello, hello everybody. Um, yes, so I love hearing what you want for the, the upcoming um, lives. Just, just let me know, let me know if you want more. I love that someone requested I do it every day, but as I said, I don't think I'll manage to do it every single day, but I could definitely do a couple more for you. So nice to see all of you. Take care of yourself. And if you've got any questions, just drop me a DM. Take care, bye everyone on Instagram, bye everyone on Facebook.